when you think of wildlife, do you think of Canberra? Well, maybe you should because that's where it is this morning. And wow, oh. Eddie, that is incredible. Yeah, Brett's you're never short of friends here at the Jamal, Jamala Wildlife Lodge at the Canberra There's Zoo, a line including you. Renee, who thankfully rescued us. Is there? You're kidding. Oh, look, there is, isn't there? Um, this is breakfast. This is dinner here at the lodge. Renee, what an incredible experience. Yeah, it is. It's an, an amazing experience coming down and having, you know, dinner and breakfast with Pinduli and Zuberi, our spotted hyenas, as well as Jake here, our white lion. There's an interesting relationship between the hyena and the lion. We've seen the hyena sort of look tentatively out the window there many times. They do, they eye each other off all the time. Uh, in the wild, these guys, if they come across a carcass, if hy hyenas outnumber lions, they'll actually, you know, kick them off the... True. Yeah, so the lion v hyena, hyena, they'd actually yeah, triumph. Can, like, triumph them. There and, you go. Uh, and vice versa. So if the lions outnumber the hyenas, they'll kick them off that feed as well. This is an experience any guest here can have a Jamala. You stay here at the zoo, you stay within the zoo. There's different rooms. Guests can move around different rooms every night if they want to. They can stay in one with the giraffes one night, they can stay with the tigers another night. We're going to show you around this morning. This is morning, Jake. How are you, mate? Uh, something else as we have a look at the weather. Live from Canberra. Sunrise weather. And, and into next week. The lodge itself is incredible because it used to be a private home. That's exactly it. So it used to be the owner's house and there's seven rooms that was a part of the, you know, the kids' rooms essentially and their room. Where we are now, which is now the dining room, used to be a shark tank. Uh, then it became an office. Now it becomes a dining room. Um, there's monkeys in the living room. There's lemurs in the bedrooms. Yes, Nat? Um, look, he doesn't just run around in there all the time. He gets out, doesn't he? The, the line. Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he's Just... not... Uh... He's, he, there's a massive enclosure we'll right. show you outside. There are cool. two, there's a, there's a, they're a part, they're a partnership, aren't they? The, no, so it's brother and sister. Oh, brother so and sister. So we've got Jake and Mishka, yeah. Jake and Mishka, so yeah, they ro right. roam around together. Yes. yes. He can't like see in. in here because that's where they get he can't. Oh, he can. Oh, he can. Oh, he can see, see in. Yeah, yeah, he definitely can see in. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Eddie, uh, he's saying, no, they're definitely, uh, not its breakfast. What yeah, I think so. I think he, I think he likes the hollandaise sauce, perhaps. Yeah, no, there's a huge area where all the animals roam around outside. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Oh, blimey. So you, do, you could be dinner Gee. yourself. At, Who needs to go to Africa? Oh, yeah. It's right there in Canberra. That's right. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes. Thank Gee. you. That lion would love our cash cow, too. Oh, so you? I've got my grandkids coming out for summer holidays from Hong Kong. And oh. I thought, I've got to take them to the War Memorial. Yeah. And now that we'll stay perfect. at the zoo. You Fantastic. Can stay. You can stay for a week. Yeah. Well, if you're paying. Well, I'm not paying. <laughs> How much? I'd better Google the price. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about the price. Oh, Nat, we are at the National Zoo and Aquarium in Canberra in Jamala Wildlife Resort. This is one of the rooms here. And look, you know in some hotels you want to keep the door closed in case, you know, flies come in or mozzies or maybe even birds. Well, here at Jamala, you have to be careful who comes in the door because this is what's on your balcony. Wow. Check this out. This is Hummer. Obviously, a giraffe with a very long tongue, and this is an experience. It's gonna, I'm going to very quickly run out of <laughs> carrots here. Um, you can have at Jamala with, as, you, as we were talking about before, the zoo behind it. So it's about 18 acres of zoo here at Jamala. They're about to expand to 50 acres. <laughs> Wow. And in fact, if I come over here and grab some of these pellets, it's going to eat my whole hand. Is that right? Oh, Whoa. gross! Oh. <laughs> That's fun. Um, they're such amazing creatures. They're a soul. <laughs> so it's got a rough tongue and a little bit of slobber left there in my hand. Um, uh, so many beautiful, beautiful creatures here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, lions, tigers, we're going to show you later. Okay, and, all right. And I'm Eddie, I'm just, I've just been doing my research on this. They have. Uh, family Friday nights, family Fridays, catered family? for families with children four years and older, and the guides take the kids around while you have your dinner. Oh, that sounds like good. Absolutely idea. right. Good you idea. can have champagne here in the balcony. In these rooms here that I just showed you, you can fit in four people, so you can fit in some kids as well if you want to. It is about a thousand dollars a night, but that includes all your food, um, your alcohol at dinner, and all these experiences as well. well. So you get room. to go so on tours. Fit. It's at a thousand the zoo bucks for four, four people. Okay. I, and all your food I believe involved. so. Yeah. Yes. A Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you get to do the tours weekend. at the zoo. So you get to go oh, around in the mornings, okay. pat the rhinos, see the lions. We're going to show you more of that experience That's a little bit later on. But first, yeah. let's have a look at the forecast. 
sunrise weather. And mostly sunny for Broome. There are some sunrise viewers in the room uh, next to us. Good morning to you. There you go. Came out to take a photo. You must never, ever get sick of working with these amazing animals. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Quite a rough tongue, though, huh? Yeah, very rough. Got any baby wipes on you? Because I've got a bit of slobber on my hand. <laughs> well, luckily you're in a room here. We've got a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, good, good point. Uh, back to you now. Gorgeous. Thanks, Eddie. Talk well, to you let's soon. check your national weather forecast. Eddie is in Canberra this morning living a, a wildlife adventure. Eddie, who have you got now? I've got a couple of meerkats here. Oh, stuck uh, their heads up. Barrettes. This is, what again, one of the experiences you can have here at the Jamala Wildlife Resort that's part of the National Zoo and Aquarium here in Canberra. How good are meerkats? Remember that show, Meerkat Matter? Everyone yeah. just loves meerkats. They are the cutest little creatures. And Renee, this is like a bachelor pad for meerkats, as I understand this it. This is. Yeah, we've got four boys in here. They just recently came from Wellington, so they're quite new to the, the zoo. New actually. Zealand uh, meerkats. There you go. There you go. I yes. couldn't pick it. <laughs> um, you are in charge of developing a lot of the animal experiences here that people yeah, can have. What definitely. kinds of experiences can people have? So what we want to do and develop is get that up close and personal interaction with uh, with guests uh, as close as they can with our animals. And so you know, yeah, having that real connection with these animals. The way that we develop it is just getting these guys used to it. So slowly um, getting them adjusting to us coming in into the enclosure, and then uh, slowly using volunteers and uh, and then guests coming in and getting them you know, really desensitised <laughs> to different people yeah. coming in. You must have some guests have some pretty wild reactions to these wild animals. Of course, they're very unpredictable, but lots of fun. Uh, this is such an amazing experience uh, you can have here in Canberra. What are the many amazing experiences you can have in Canberra as we have a look at the weather? <laughs> Northwestern New South Wales, and this one's got an interest in the forecast, and most onshore winds are maintaining showers over the Queensland coast. This is great. A shower or two for Brisbane with a top of 25. Partly cloudy in 25 for Sydney. A possible shower developing in 26 for Canberra. A shower or two in 27 for Melbourne. To Hobart, 18 degrees and sunny. Partly cloudy for Adelaide with a top of 33. Sunny and 33 for Perth and Darwin. 34 and a possible shower. The one with a keen interest in meteorology there, that meerkat. Uh, just amazing. I can't believe how close you can get to these animals and the experiences you can have here. And just how cute they are. Um, one of the other experiences you can have here is with the rhinos. And we did this yesterday afternoon when we arrived here oh, wow. um, at the National Zoo. This is this is something else. I mean, this is the culmination of the morning tour that you do here when you go to the rhinos. It absolutely is. So it's the highlight of the morning tour. And uh, it really just finishes finishes off the stay at Jamala. So getting up close and patting them. I mean, they're gigantic animals. You obviously have to keep your hands sort of a fair bit way back from the enclosure just in case they slam up against it. That's but, it. But yeah. and they're quite... <laughs> so I'm just trying hard to concentrate on rhinos because I'm getting attacked by meerkats. But yeah, 8 o'clock in the morning is when the tour leaves from the lodge and you get to go out in amongst the zoo before it opens and have these experiences that are unique to staying um, at the resort. I love it. That's fantastic, I want to be a Eddie. Doesn't look um, great. <laughs> meerkats, the very, very cool. Yeah. There you go. That's a whole it's a show. whole new hey. show. Yeah. How about that? Koshi, I did clarify the cost for you too, by the way. It's $1,000 a room for two people, and right. then each child after that, it's $180, as I said. Yeah. It includes all the experiences here and, in the zoo. Right. But also your food and grog as well. Is included. And your food and grog. Probably not for the kids, but yes, for no, the adults. No, no, no. <laughs> right, but that's all included. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, yeah cool. as a big present for the yeah. family or something yeah. to do Christmas one night. Maybe. We've something. met lots of people here on anniversaries, birthdays, mm. people yeah. get engaged here. It's a, yeah, it's a big, yeah. a big oh, event. She goes to the animals. Yeah. yeah. All right. Who needs to go to Africa? Yeah. Forget <laughs> that. the weather, Eddie. Nat, let me introduce you to Bakar, one of the resident tigers here at the National Zoo and Aquarium in Canberra. And this is again one of the rooms here at the Jamala Wildlife Resort. Literally, this is your lounge room. There is Bakar's enclosure. Let me first assure you that before they opened this a few months ago, they um, did bring in a lot of experts about um, glass yeah, and uh, making say. sure that it's quite, uh, <laughs> yeah, that it's quite secure. Um, essentially, the animals <coughs> love, I mean, the, the tigers love, there he, there he is, look at that face. The tigers love coming in here because this is where they get to enjoy a meal in the middle of your lounge room. Check this out. Bakara is actually one of the original tigers from Dreamworld. So he's resided here in Canberra for about 10 wow. years now. 21 years old. Hopefully he'll come back up and enjoy the rest of his breakfast here. So uh, he, he sleeps area. on that, that straw, does he, overnight? 
Yeah, he can sleep on the straw, wow. so he can uh, spend the they evening snore? there as one of your guests, as part of your mm. room. I don't believe they snore, but you might mm. get a couple of roars throughout the evening. Um, mm. And then, um, so one of the original Tiger Cubs, he's about 21 years old now, which is the equivalent of, a, of 100 or so uh, years uh, as a Tiger. So he's getting on, he's a little bit hard of hearing, but as you can see, wow. still an incredible creature. And they've had some amazing experiences where Bacar lies and falls asleep up against the window here with just a paw, so you can get, you know, this close. Gee, you'd feel like Tarzan and Jane away. in there in your bed and I sort know. of a tiger at the foot of it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do, whatever role play oh, you want to oh. do, Koshing. I'll leave that up to you here at the Jamala Wildlife Resort. But I know you love your baths. Have about have a look at this. This is the bath here. Imagine imagine having a bath Whoa, right here me with out. a tiger <laughs> right <laughs> next to you. Yeah. I mean, this is beyond. Are, are there any this keepers hanging around? <laughs> while you're having a <laughs> <laughs> no. Once again, Nat, you do what you want to do in your room here at Jamala, but no, it's just normally the two of you. Uh, they don't invite the keepers no, in. No, I mean out you... there in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm joking. Right. Uh, not, no, not in the enclosure. Um, okay. I mean, that's the thing with these animals, although he's a zoo, they could. Um, I suppose, turn at any minute. I was talking to one of the keepers before who's worked with tigers and lions for decades. And, you know, there is still an element of danger at any point. Oh my gosh, I'm just blown away. Anyway, let's have a look. That is incredible. Uh, at the weather here from the bath at Jamala. It is incredible, isn't it? That's the only word to describe it. Amazing. See, it's going to chill out now. And that's when you can get right up close to the glass <coughs> here. Like another, like another guest in your room. Look at that. Feels like a giant cat, is a giant cat, but um, at the same time, just Duffy an full. incredible creature. Yeah. Rip your throat out. Uh, yeah, after it's yeah. just <laughs> had a little wash, it can Jeez. just kill That you. is an oh. incredible experience, Eddie. Isn't it? I've never seen anything Isn't like it. Isn't it just? It's fabulous. Is it just open? <laughs> oh, it. This place? Now, we asked before in the... Has it just opened? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. has it just opened? Yes, it opened a few months ago. Right. So um, they've been, um, as you can imagine, chock-a-block since they've opened. Yeah. But uh, school holidays especially now, really, really busy. But, um, yeah, a really new experience. And also only one, only very few places in the world have an experience like this and, and none that have the sort of luxury rooms with this experience yeah. right up close. In I asked before well. in the dining Obviously room, could it, can he see through too? Yes, he can see through. He can see us. So it's proper glass. Um, wow. Obviously. Thick. Not very concerned really about thick. Yeah, You're not really a threat to him, <laughs> I don't think. Thick, All right. Thick glass, <laughs> yep. but uh, yeah, he can see. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Very cool, Eddie. Thank you. Um, we are, in fact, of course, there's no room for a soundo in here, so I do apologise that my audio fell out, uh, fell out for a second there. Uh, one, an, again, another one of the amazing experiences you can have here at Jamala. Is this right? I'm approaching this way, and then I just can pat the cheetah, oh, no. evidently, oh. Um, oh. on the back while oh. yeah, don't he, get that she... Wrong. He? he has breakfast. No, okay, that was amazing. I'm still going to step back. I just don't want to tempt fate here. Uh, Richard, oh, you oh, don't, don't step, on step on the tail. Step on the tail. Not I'm a good idea. Stand over here. Uh, <laughs> Richard owns the zoo. Owns the national zoo. This is amazing. It is. It is, and you can be a little bit more relaxed with this guy. He's, he is very relaxed with people patting him. What he's, is he's... is unique here is that you can get so close to all the animals, essentially, a lot of yep. them. Yep, with most of them. And as Renee said earlier, the, the general idea is, is for us to get people as close to the animal as the animal feels comfortable with. But they've always got the right to go away. If he, if he gets sick of this, he just goes away. Same with the giraffe, same with the lions. We've shown off the accommodation uh, here this morning, but the key message behind that all is the money from the accommodation goes back into helping the animals. Yeah, the, the concept of Jamala was to help generate the funds to continue with the expansion of the zoo. And the whole concept of the zoo is to um, help educate people as to what they can do to help wildlife, um, to uh, sponsor endangered species yeah, breeding wonderful. programs and also conservation in the wild. What an experience you can have here in the National Capital. I'm going to go in for one more pat. Okay. okay. Go for it. Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. See, <laughs> 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 guys. Um, <laughs> Emma Friedman is filling in for me for the next uh, for a couple of days next week. So um, be kind. Um, she'll be. Always she's well versed in weather. She'll oh. love that. What are you oh, saying? I know what are you, you saying, are. Eddie? Um, <laughs> I feel like I want to stay here at the zoo, but I'm going to take a few few days off in Sydney. Um, I love this place. I can't can't get enough of it, Richard. You've created something incredibly special here. Thank you. Everyone yeah. seems to enjoy it. Yeah. Congratulations. See you, see you next yeah. day. Great idea.